in, in 1971, I was called out on stage for being a, a sellout by a Latino activist because I was working in mainstream television. And my first response was, well, you really can't have a voice if you don't sit at the table. They're perfectly willing to die for what they're doing. And I want to get out of here, but I, the only way I'm going to is if we do it their way. This, I knew I was one of the first Latinas there. I knew I'm a woman. Um, I knew that I had to prove I could be as good as a man. This was my thinking. And I tried that. I mean, I, you know, to put it inelegantly, I've been accused of having more balls than most men because I had to learn to survive it and to survive it amongst white males. This is Channel 2. And now, Action News with Isabel Duran, Andy Park, and Sports with Mike Chamberlain. When I was at KGO-TV, I wasn't too happy about that, being there. And a friend of mine had just left Channel 2 to come to, K to uh, KGO. So he told me, hey, you know, there's an opening now because I left there and everything. And what they want is they have this weekend show and they want a producer for the weekend show and a reporter during the rest of the week. Okay, well, what the heck? Okay, so I'll, you know, so I let, and so then the, the show that I started producing was Isabel's show. The parade, the finery and frolics were replaced by rousing speeches of gay power and gay civil rights. The great Isabel Duran, I first saw her on Channel 36 in San Jose. And you have more on Mayor Janet <laughs> That's Graham. right. And she could use good health and good food. Isabel Duran with John Schrader on sports, Jan Hutchins on the news. I know, you used to count the lines. Jan read a few more than you, Isabel. But you went on great career in Chicago. Live on Channel 5. This is the 10 o'clock news with Daryl David and the... Yeah, I mean, there's no question she was a trailblazer. And, and, and we realized that at a pretty young age. Um, we, I remember following her career when she was in Chicago. And I remember our family being like, you know, she's really bouncing around because she's trying to pursue a dream. And, you know, she's a pioneer and one of the first to ever do this. And I remember, you know, even as a kid, we were so proud of her. We'd see her on TV and go, you know, there's our auntie, there's our auntie. And it was always, you know, kind of a, a special thing to watch her. In. Council reportedly has made a decision on the fate of the 50 American. She is so dedicated to journalism, uh, and she is she was she is a stickler for getting facts right and for accuracy and for making sure that this story is as fresh and as current as possible. So we were we were on the air when um, the shuttle blew up. We throw out all the scripts, and it becomes three hours seat of your pants broadcasting, which really gets the adrenaline going. And it, and it is so helpful to know that you have somebody next to you who has that wealth of experience. I poured my pain into a journal. It kept me company in the dark of night. I remember uh, going to the hospital with you when you were sick. This wasn't all that long after, I guess, we met. And at a time that I probably would have curled up in a corner, I remember your fierceness and continuing to work in dealing with that and then making a story out of it. I mean, a really lovely story that inspired a lot of people. Trying to get the state Supreme Court to overturn the... Well, I'm just going to miss my partner. I mean, we've been together for close to 17 years, which I think is probably a record for Bay Area anchor teams. And, and so um, I'm going to miss uh, just the connection that we've had. You know you're getting out at the right time before the roof collapses. Way to go, Isabel. You've had a wonderful career, and I just admire your work over the years. And really now, but sit back and enjoy retirement because you deserve it. The one thing I will say uh, about my aunt was she was always very tough. Um, and when we were little kids at her house, she was tough on us. If we did something or touched something, she let us know. Um, and she was the same way with me and my career. And I can't thank her enough for being tough, um, for being loving and being supportive. And you either gave in and gave up, or you stood your ground and moved on because the ultimate goal was not about the people surrounding me. It was about what I saw for myself down that road. And I'll be damned if anybody was gonna stop me. Nobody was gonna make that choice for me. If I moved out, it was because I decided to do it. And so now it's my time to do it, but it's my choice.